What is going on, Button Mashers? Holy moly, it has been a while since I've done a, a, a YouTube video. But uh, I've had a lot of ideas brewing around, but it, it's been a while. I've been sick, I've been on a cruise, I've been lazy, all the fun stuff mixing together. But, you know, I've missed the Button Mashers, and I've had a couple of videos floating around that I want to get out there. And we're going to finally start doing it. I promise to get more content out. I know it's been a while, I'm mean, going to keep saying that over and over, uh, but I definitely want to get some stuff out, and I want to start with Thrall, because I feel like Thrall, this patch, is in a really, really good position. Um, he just had a slight change of life, the quality on him went a little bit better on his E, his uh, Wind Veer, which we'll talk a little bit about later, but now you're able to Orb Walk slash Kite Forward with it, which allows for you to make so many crazy plays that... I don't know, man. I feel like he can be somewhere in the meta, and he might be a top-tier pick coming up in the future. So, let's jump into it. Thrall, here he is. I got the new skin. I just wanted to show you that off. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, so handsome. I actually don't even... But, but you're... Excuse me, sir. This guy. Let's do a dance real quick. Yeah, man. You see this guy? He's jelly. Anywho, jumping straight into it. I'm picking up Block here on Thrall. I'm going to say thank you to this guy. I always be nice to your teammates. Throw them out hearts and stuff. I'm picking up Block on Thrall. I've been playing around with a, different, a lot of different builds. And Rolling Thunder, Rabid Wolf, Season Marksman definitely have all of their perks in some way or some form. But I think Block synergizes very, very, very well with the uh, Feral Spirit. Because Feral Spirit is a very all-in type of ability for Thrall. So I'm going to demonstrate it later on as we go in. But overall, through a majority of my picks, I've become more comfortable with picking up Block. Because it allows me to do a few things. So here, let me try and show you here. If I get a second. Oh, Mr. Skin the Gucci too? Yes, I agree. So, when you go in on an opponent, I'm going to do it right here, because Butcher's walking straight on in. You're going to throw out your W, and you're going to walk towards them every single time. Block gives you the ability. That was a really quick kill. Uh, we're in quick match, by the way, in case you were wondering. Um, block gives you the ability to kind of move forward and decide halfway through your all-in whether or not you want to go for it. See, I throw out my W here, and uh, say this was an auto-attack hero in some way or some form. By block would take out a couple of those hits and allow me to continue going moving forward with the attack of fourth thrall. And so it feels much better. Had I pick a different talent at level 1, I'd probably lose about a quarter of my health, which might make actually me going for a full engagement a bit harder, especially if my opponent knows how to kite, if they're a ranged carry in some form, like a Rainer or a Vala. Block, I just I feel like it gives you just enough defensive stature for you to really play to your strength as thrall. So... I'm going to go ahead and go with that ability. You guys can totally pick different if you would like, but for me, it's definitely been working out, and I think there's a reason behind it. So, watch as I continue to play as I use my Feral Spirit as my way to go in for engagements. Okay. Other things about Thrall. Wave Clear? <laughs> kind of not the best. I'm not going to lie to you. It's, it's definitely not uh, my bread and butter. And he does have a little bit of mana issues as well, so you see a lot of people pick up uh, at level 4 actually mana tied. Um, or not mana tied, um, other talents that allow you to grab mana as you use your abilities. So go ahead and go for it and get here. So, so you see me throw out my W and I start walking forward immediately. I pop my E and I just go ahead and start making sure I kite you forward to put the damage in. I have no idea why there's four people in the top lane, but we'll take it. That's for sure. Um, he does have mana issues, going back to that point. Oh my gosh, or we'll keep getting kills here and miss all our buttons. Wow, it stitches a hit a hook? Oh my god, sick. So you'll see a lot of people in the early game trying to spam their Q a lot, and that puts them in a position where they're around level 4 or 5, and they only have about a quarter mana. I would highly recommend never ever, I'm thinking about Venom here by the way, never ever really kind of spamming that Q right here, your Chain Lightning, unless you are about over half health. Be a little reserved. Hold that mana down, because whenever you go in for an engagement, Thrall's a hero that kind of has to all in very, very hard. I'm going to go here for the Monk here, put a little bit of damage on him. Butcher's coming in, get some auto attacks. Dude, he hurts too. Holy moly. Uh, so I pick up the M Venom. Oftentimes with Thrall, you'll get two or three auto attacks in with your Wind Fury, and it won't ever be enough to really take out a full hero. It'll chunk them down to about half health. But most of the time, people will overstay their, wa their welcome. I think Thrall is a hero that most heroes don't respect quite yet. They don't really know the gravity of how much damage you can do in a team fight. Um, so they kind of stand there, and you're able to get in a few more auto attacks after you use your Wind Fury. And with the Venom damage, for the most part, you can get a lot of kills. Thrall is also insanely good against uh, divers like the Monk there. 
Uh, took a couple hits. Block did save me once again. Watch for your Frost Wolf resilience down here. That's a major part of knowing when and when not to engage on Thrall. I would recommend having about three stacks available before going in for major engagement, which you can get here by uh, charging up with your uh, Chain Lightning here. Gonna watch out for Diablo. He might come in on me. Nice! We're gonna pop our E here, and we're gonna wait for him to start trying to run away, and then we're gonna W, walk forward, and make sure to always try to move forward in front of your opponents. You wanna try and get that extra damage in. Oh god! I just got wrecked by a monk. Is he going damage build? Is he going damage build? No, he's going heal build. I just got wrecked by a healing monk. I'm super good this game. Okay, so anywho, I didn't top my Venom there. Actually, I'm not sure if it was off cooldown or not. Um, but one of the major things he can do with Thrall is actually pretty beefy in size. So you can do a lot of kiting, and now that you have your E from the last patch note, that gives you just a little bit more mobility because the, uh, the E's not as clunky. It used to be you would run in, you couldn't step forward and try and put damage on people, right? It would always, always mess up. Um, and now it doesn't happen anymore. It's very, very nice. Am I getting wrecked here? Looks like it. Okay, we're gonna grab Frostwell's Grace here, and what the heck? Windows 10 just asked if I wanted to update. No Windows 10. Why Why are you messing up my uh, my thing here? Alright, so we're picking up Frostwell's Grace. That will give us just a little bit more healing. Just a tad bit more. Another defensive spell. I know in the early game my build is super like generic traits, <laughs> healing, super defensive. I really feel like Thrall at level 13 to 16 starts to open up very heavily as I go for the damage talents, and I'll also will get Sundering at level 10. Sundering at first when Thrall came out to me was a shock and awe that messed up wombo combos. I didn't like it that much, but the more I played with it, and the more I've tried to really identify what are the strengths of playing with shock and awe, or <laughs> with the uh, Sundering, I've noticed that there's a lot more we can do with it. I'll try and get a lightning boost off of him. Can I get it? No. Um. I've noticed there's a lot of potential with it. One, in sniping ability. It is insanely good, and it's one of those heroics that, just like Fall said, you kind of take people out as they try to run away from a battle. People have gotten really, really good at realizing when they're losing a team fight, and they'll attempt to run away, right? And they run away, and most heroes can't get to the back line because warriors do a good job of peeling, or you have healers, but Thrall, due to Sundering, can actually kill someone almost instantly by using that Sundering if they get a little bit too far out of his range. So it's strong in that capability. Also, insanely good for disengagements. I just realized they have an Abathur. Abathur, too good. Uh, anywho. Thrall is uh, really, really good at disengagement with Sundering. And also, he's very, very good against divers like the Monk and Illidan. Just because people will be walking literally into a hammer that does a lot of damage. We'll see that here as we uh, deal with the monk a few more times here. I've kind of gotten wrecked on by him earlier because of amazing. Oh, stop him real quick. Because of two v ones that I shouldn't have been fighting in. But you know, you know, whatever, man. Sometimes he's gonna go in for these type of videos. Gotta make plays. This should be another kill as well if I can get my W off. Can I get it? Are we going in, team? Let's go for it. Nice hook, beautiful. Popping our E here and putting out a lot of damage very quickly. Now we got Sundering. For those that don't know what Sundering is, it is a linear skill shot as you can see here, in this direction, because it was about half your screen. Damages, pushes, and stuns enemy in a line. Very good for picking off those Novas, those Sagaras that try to get away, uh, even those Illidans too. It does about half Illidans health, which is uh, pretty darn powerful. And another reason why he's pretty good against Divers, because Divers will realize, oh, I shouldn't be fighting here. Next thing you know, they're forced to run away. A quick tip for you, players out there that are trying to figure out, how do I make the... Uh, the most out of my Feral Spirit and also my Frost of Resilience. Use it on minion waves. Get them lined up and bam. You get so many pick or uh, procs there from the ability, giving you a lot of health they can heal through. Use that more than your Chain Lightning. All you gotta do is control the lane a little bit and you'll be good to go. This game is going actually relatively well for how not aggressive I've been. Alright, so we're actually gonna get the Monk out of here so we can't save Diablo. And we're just gonna go straight for the Diablo. He's gonna use a Divine Palm, that's fine. We're gonna wait here. Bam. Can we maybe get the kill? No. TT. Nice! Lunar Flare! We're gonna do Venom here. And Lightning maybe? Yes! The Lightning through the wall. Catch the Monk. Kill him off. So you can see in a scenario there where Sundering can be very, very powerful. If you're able to isolate somebody, luckily we have a Stitches on this team, so that was a perfect example. Um, you're able to isolate the opponents from coming in and helping their teammate. You can, for the most part, pick them off. 
Had that not been a monk, any other hero um, wouldn't have been able to save their teammate there. Even Uther with that divine palm, we would have we would have killed Dibbles very very quickly. And the cooldown on Sundering is very very low. 70 seconds, not bad. Most team fights will happen every 140 to 150 seconds, um, so you could technically use Sundering twice between every team team fights if you're that active. All right, we're gonna try and try and poke a little bit here. We do not want them to turn in at all, if possible. And nice, we got the turn in. This is where we start to have this build really come together. Grace of Air. Very, very strong when coupled with uh, Feral Spirit. We're getting a lot of health and also a lot of damage on your opponent. Trying to get over here quick enough. Chain Bomb is a go. Yeah, Caleb also level 13 is... is a, he's a little strong. I don't think anyone's gonna deny that. There is actually no turret ammo here. Put my damage in. If Stitch can get a hook here, I'm going in. Oh, Abathur. Can we get him? Can we get him? No, we can't. But we can get him. I was thinking about using my Sundering there to get that Abathur in the back line. But sometimes, sometimes you just don't go for the Worm. Worm is always bait. Just ask any local fish. Alright. More fighting. Let's go ahead and go mid and get this tower. Using my Q here to get my heals up. Constantly be doing that. No reason not to. And Butcher's going for it. I'm gonna go ahead and... Oh, nope. Dude, my... Okay, this Butcher and this Stitches are gods. Like, what? They are actually setting up so many plays I don't have to do anything. That never happens. I shall. The guard's up here. We should get her. Come, team. Team, please. Wait, she's flanking? Why? And knock her back into my teammates, even though we got uh, stitches going for the hooks. Alright, Rainer over here. See how he's like choking me down and cutting? He's only gotten to me about half damage. Just because. Oh, we were able to dodge it. A block. Block was so helpful in that scenario. Unfortunately, we weren't able to catch him. But, you can see the potential there. Really, really good. And don't be afraid to use the trait that we got at level 7. Get that healing, man. Constantly use it. It's only a 30 second cooldown. Not too bad to have on your side. We are getting low on mana, though. Need to be a little careful. We're actually uh, a bit ahead in experience right now. Thrall OP? I haven't done anything in this game. Oh god, maybe, maybe I've done a little something. Look at this damage! How'd that happen? What? It's all been Stitches and Butcher, I'm not gonna lie to you. I just hit my buttons. Nice hook. He didn't get away, but nice hook. Alright, we can probably start fighting this here. We have our ult in 9 seconds. We got... Darn Rainer over here. Making plays. Alright. Let's see what we can do here. Bam. We're gonna kill the monk. No, uh, Divine Palm. We're gonna knock these two back. Go straight for Rainer. Come back on the uh, monk. And really, we're in a good spot here. If I can just stay alive a little bit longer to get my cooldowns up. So I can heal. Alright, nice. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Fudge. Fudge. Alright, that was a display of his, uh, his his mana problems a little bit. I didn't have my E up. If I had my E up, oh my god. So much healing and they would both be dead. Don't worry, though. Luna Flare's got this. Dead. And now the monk will kill him off. Um, another thing that's very important when you are playing Thrall is you gotta watch those cooldowns because they directly correlate to your healing and your survivability. So, gotta be watching this and you gotta be watching these. And I was almost to the point of making it work, but you also gotta watch that mana bar down here in the bottom left corner, and I unfortunately was not. TT. But you can see the potential of Thrall. He's got, he's got something. There's something there. And I want more players to kind of keep pushing him to the limit a little bit. Let me know what your builds are below in the comments. All that fun stuff. I'm willing to try more. Trying to try more talents, but I think I'm really stuck on uh, Block. I just feel like Block is so helpful with Thrall. And it might just be because of my style. I don't feel like he's that much of a poker. I think he's a very just, we're going all in and we're making plays. Wow, you just got chain bombed, kids. That, that was, that was painful. I can't hit a single W to save my life. Oh my god. Alright. Maybe, uh, I should pay attention. Almost plays! <laughs> <laughs> Mistakes were made. I do regret that entire decision. I will not lie to you. 
I went a little too deep too. I didn't think Diablo was down here. Guys, pay attention to your mini map too. This is an educational video. Right now, I'm displaying what the death screen looks like. It's very purple, and you can still see your teammates, but you are no longer alive. You know? It's kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Let's see. What's our next play here? We're going to group up. We're going to join our teammates. We should probably turn in. Do we have any coins? We have 22. Let's get Toronto a turn in. A? That's my Canadian accent right there. God, I love his new skin, how it looks. The fire. The fire is so hot. Uh, we should prevent them from turning in, though. I'm gonna knock him in. Right into it. Nice. Good job, Butcher. Let's see if we can do something here. I think I can catch him. We got him. Do we have any follow up? Nah, we got him all for our W. That combo, though. <laughs> Alright. I get it. Nice hook. Thought a tank, but nice hook. Alright, we're gonna root him. We're gonna chunk him down. That Divine Palm, dude, has saved Diablo like 400 times. But it's not enough. I have a slow in one second here. I'm gonna wait till I get my E up. Never mind. Alright, we'll go ahead and pick him off. Nice. Let's get the boss. Dude, between the Butcher and myself, we have so much damage, we can definitely do this. This comes a little hard because we have triple melee and a Taronda. But, we're making it work. We're Gucci. I'm gonna tank this. I'm actually a little bit more tankier than Stitches, believe it or not, just because of my healing capabilities. I know, right? He's a warrior. But it's all good. And we got the boss for sure. Abdo's pushing bottom lane, but Abdo shit me. I'll get that keep. Let's go ahead and get a turn in, maybe. So they're just going for the miracle hooks. What else? What else can we talk about for all? Uh, I did tell you guys that at level 16, I got Tempest Fury. Wind Fury's final strike hits three times. So originally on Wind Fury, your first two attacks do a decent amount of damage. Your third one, though. Uh, it does 100% more damage. Wait, is it 100% damage? 100% faster. Third da the third one does more damage or something like that. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know the full numbers. But it does something better. That one now becomes every single attack with this talent that we have. Make sure to read up on that. Double, my double check my stats, guys. I'm definitely prepared for this video. No big deal. Everyone's top lane. We should actually be pushing bottom or mid. And we should be grouped. Mr. Stitches here is correct. We're going to go ahead and join up here. Ideally, we'd want to wait till we get to level 20, but, you know, I'm all about the plays. I think we should go attack. So we're going to try. This guy's got double Hydra. Good choice against melees. Double Hydra is insanely good against melees. It's hard for them to deal with, and it puts them in a position where they can get picked off. I'm actually going to stop this fight from happening. Wow. Nice maul, though. Chain Bomb just absolutely destroyed two, be two members there. Holy crud. Wow, throw it. Wow, Butcher, you're going! What a legend. I'm gonna try and save him. Nope. It's not happening. Can I lock this down? Monk is in stasis. This is actually a really bad position for me. I'm slowed. Thrall, you never want to have your auto attack slowed in any way, shape, or form, because he already has a slow attack speed. It's because he has high damage. But it's definitely something that you want to be careful of. Bolt of the Storm, so we have a little bit of mobility. I do pick Wolds on Ring for the fun of it in most live streams, but we're, <laughs> we're going to go with a, uh, a good talent here. Just in case you guys decide to take this build and run with it a little bit. Alright, let's see what we can do here. We're still barely ahead of Kel'Thas in damage, which is pretty cool considering how much damage Kel'Thas can do. What else can we get? Let's get these knights down here in the bottom right. Let's grab the uh, giants in the bottom. And we gotta make sure they don't turn in. They have what? 30, 40, a lot of, a lot of gems. A lot, team. Alright, Diablo's turning up up here. Can I stop him? No, it's too late. We do need to prevent them from turning in though. But I need to be careful at the same time. We're gonna go the safe route. Please join me, team. Let's bush strat. Let's strat it up. Alright, shh. 
Go for her. All right, we're gonna center him into the wall. Bam! Wow, this monk is on top of it. Ugh! All right, we're going up. Get the punch on him. Punched. Slowed. Can I get my lightning? Lightning! Yes, there it is. I'm trying to get the sun. Perfect. Beautiful stun. The slow though. Too strong. We should pull back and help our kill boss. That may have been our bad. One thing with Thrall is you definitely have to have a little bit of uh, restraint from going all in on kills. I know he's like an all-in hero, but sometimes it's okay for you to pull back and help your teammates. Like right now, what am I doing? I need to pull back and stay near the uh, guy with fire. Okay. Can you maybe catch this actually? I'm gonna go for it. Nope, no idea. Missed it. But I went for it. Can we get this kill, man? I have no mana though. So I have to hit a W and let Kalthos do all the damage. That's the only way to win here. Let's see if we can go out here. Does the monk do anything? The no. Okay. Getting health. Dude. This game is actually kind of close all of a sudden. We were doing okay at the beginning. We're going to blame it on my throws. Look at all these deaths. I'm a noob lord. Alright, let's go grab this. Killing that's nice. We should go bottom first. It will be pushed again. For those that don't know, the spiders will push all the way to your minions at home. Or to your minions. So since these minions were all the way back here, the spider came all the way up. So we had minions up here in the top left. It had to be created there. So you can kind of... Not guess, but know where the closest spiders will be to you so you can defend them a little bit better. So always use that knowledge to your advantage if possible. We don't have Toronto, so we have to be a little careful here. Oh god! I might have to just use this to get them away. Oh boy, this is kind of scary. I'm trying to put damage on Thrall real quickly here. I don't even get it. I gotta run. Lightning, heal. Oh boy. Suddenly we're in a losing position here. Let's see what we can do. They're pretty low, however, our damage is definitely Kalthos. And me, but they have more numbers. And Thrall, although decently strong, uh, won't do that hot. Alright, we're gonna try and stand near this guy because he can dive pretty well. Nice, there's a kill. That was a good pickup by Sages. Let's see if we can get the guard out here. Nice! Beautifully done! Oh my god, Toronto the legend! Alright. Nice! Stitches! What? Everyone's making plays! Dude, that's what I'm talking about. And then I miss my W. The simple stability is lightning though, too strong. And I actually have Sundering in 10, so I'm gonna keep up with this. Alright, I get my speed up here. Nice hook, once again from this guy. We got the Frost with Resilience. We're gonna punish him with an Venom. And we're good. This is it. Oh my god, Abathur is making it so hard to live. Alright, please don't hop on a minion and kill me. Please don't hop on a minion and kill me. Wow! Alright, well that happened. Meh! Yeah, I get that. Get that. I even saw it coming! I even saw it coming! I don't know why, but I thought I was safe. I got wrecked. Okay, so we should get the boss here. And that will at least give us keep. They're in a really good position though, because they've killed off our keep, so we have to trade for sure here. Do it! Go, go! Go, go! Go, go! Bait him! It's too late! They have an Abathur! So, whenever you're playing against an Abathur, you usually are against the clock. You need to either win team fights really heavily or go for objectives quickly. Ooh, can they get this? Nice hook. Beautiful. Good bait. I'll go deal with this, even though I'm horrible at it. clearing waves. This is scary, man. One wrong move, and it's over. Careful, team! Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go kill this off real quick. I think he's gonna get it, though. No, not the keep! Let's save it. Playmaker? Playmaker. That's what I'm talking about. Sunring OP. Alright, I'm gonna push out this lane real quick, and I'm gonna go up. Just because I don't wanna have... Abathur kill it off. 
freely. I need to start heading up there though, for sure. Even though two people are down, you never want to have your teammates be in a bad position. Keep going up, using my E for the speed here. Coming in, the owl misses. Can I get over here? Can I get over here? Can we do it? If he starts mounting, I'm gonna bolt. Oh wow, the hook! <laughs> to counter. Alright, did she get this healed? Linger now. That's up for her taking. Alright, let's run back and get the boss. Boss has now been grabbed. Middle is being pushed. I think we should just turn in. Turn after. Beautiful. Beautiful. Dude, this game is actually super intense. This went from uh, educational to holy crap, we're losing. Can't be losing on YouTube, man. Okay, we're gonna go turn on sun real quick. We have sun ring up. I have the least amount of gems, so I'm gonna go ahead and watch this station here. Just to see if anyone tries to walk in. Actually reveal myself too. Just let them know if there is a threat in that area. Alright, cool. Those have been turned in. I'm gonna turn in my gems, even though it's not gonna be the, the greatest, but me and Toronto, I think, will be enough. Turn in. Turn in, bow girl. What are you doing? Toronto, turn in. Oh, I see she's trying to bait. I guess. That's what we're gonna say. She's baiting! Alright, we're gonna pop that heal real quick. Hello, well, oops. Yeah, I've been there. Uh, do note, Hydras will actually not proc your block. They are ability damage, not auto attack damage, so... You see me taking a lot of damage there from the Hydra. Another reason why double Hydra is good against Thrall, slash melees. Oh my god, this guy is a legend when it comes to hooks. We're gonna go ahead and knock back Rainer, we're gonna go straight for this Sigara. I'm gonna stand back to the kitchen tries to bolt, if you have it. The stasis shield, too strong, ooh. Out of Dodge Apocalypse. This damage is about to wreck. Try and put damage on all the carries here. I need a blink. Uh, do I have a heal? I do have a heal. I'm just trying to be careful of Epither. Do I have a heal? Do I have a Frost Wolf? Oh, Jesus. Dude, Epither hurts! Holy moly! I should probably look at his build. Alright, I have a heal in 5 seconds. If I can be a little careful here, I might be okay. No, we actually lost a lot of people in that fight. The fudge? That went well for a second. Uh, how's bottom lane doing? It's actually full on health. Alright, I just have to back up and not die here. That's the plan. We're gonna play it safe. We got Zagara though, I guess. Abby's just doing work. Yeah, man, Abby's in a good place. Did he go full damage build? He did. That's why it hurts. This legend. Okay, I'm gonna do these. Thralls aren't the greatest at doing mercenary counts, but we're level 23, so it's not too bad. Could definitely be better, that's for sure. He just doesn't have the AoE, he's all single target damage. Okay, the good news is they don't have that many gems, they're not gonna get a turn in here. So all contested points will be on the map right now. I'll go. Planes win games, don't you know? That app with a shout out. <laughs> does, it's true. It's a fact. Oh, there's actually two of them here. I'm gonna try and knock them back in the wall. We're gonna bolt in here for the plays. We're gonna knock them back, if possible. Hopefully, can we get the kill? I need to have to wrap up my cooldowns. I have to be super careful in these fights. And I need to hit my E as well. There's a Q. Diablo has been stasis. Man, we are really good at proccing that. Oh no! Run, Dibbles! Alright, there are two of them low. If we can get over here. Can we do it? Can we do it? Yes, we got Zagara. Nice. Can we do any more? Three seconds, two seconds. Hmm, we got away. However, we did pick up the album, so that's decent. Not too shabby. We're having a hard time chasing people down. That's kind of our comp, being three melees, but... Whatever, man, we get more thrall action. I need to hit, hit like a really good sun ring that just locks him in and we're able to get the kill really quickly. 
I'm going to go heal and get mana. I'm going to deal with top lane again, because that thing is just getting stronger by the second. Picking into my teammates, I'm going to. Oh, careful, Butcher. He's going to get killed by this ever there. <laughs> just kidding. Butcher's brand, too strong. Alright, when's the next boss? That is in 10 seconds. Oh god, live, Butcher! Oh my gosh, 2 HP. Okay. Hey. Let's see what we can do here. This game suddenly is very, very intense. We're trying in bottom. Do they have enough for it, actually? Clever. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Butcher and Tron are coming. I need to be careful. So we're all together. Alright, the last time we did this, they did catch us. Oh, nice, Apocalypse. All right, I'm pulling back, and then we're gonna go. To, we're both together. We're going all in here on Tagara. Sundering for the fight. Okay, okay, not too bad. Kill these so the butcher doesn't die. Can we stop this guy from diving in? Oh god, this is about to hurt really badly. Uh, can I get any procs? I'm just gonna stand here and hit. Oh man. Oh, it's so close, but it's so hard. Rainer late game damage. They might. They might do it here. It's possible. She has an owl. Okay. Whew. Gucci. Nice. Now nah, we good. Yeah, we are. Oh, man. This game is very, very difficult at the moment. But we have hope. We have hope for sure. Abther definitely has us set on timer, and we have to control the map very, very well. And we cannot... I repeat, cannot let them get out a boss. All right, we have keep down middle. How's this keep? That keep is half health. Did their avatar grab meal? No, he didn't. I remember I checked the damage build. Okay, maybe we can get a turn in here. It's actually pretty difficult to get gems this late in the game. Okay, joining in. Let's go. I think I should keep all inning Zagara. Actually, she's the one that got bolt. Maybe I all in Rainer here. Maybe. Let's see here. Let's go. Butcher. Let's all in Rainer. After Monk uses Divine Palm. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Nice hook. Got one rooted. Jeez, this butcher is getting destroyed. I had to use my buttons to save him. He is now saved. We don't have much healing, though. Wow, that did not go so hot. We have to back. We cannot afford to die here. We cannot afford to die. Back up, bit me! Back up, bit me! Back up, throw! Alright, alright. I'm trying to save my abilities. Did we get any of them low? No. We lost two members. That's probably boss, actually. We're gonna heal. Whew! And we're gonna lose bottom keep. But we have to go stop boss. Oh. Let's see if we can get an ally over there. That's pretty scary. Are they there? Oh, they're still there. I don't think I can do anything, not without Sundering. I'm gonna try and lightning, though, and trying to scare them. If we can scare them, we might be okay. Oh, it's big! That's big! It's big! It's big! We have Bolt. We have Bolt in a second here. I'm going to save it. And let's try and poke. Alright, we're going in. Alright. Did we just make a play? Holy crap, we made a play, team! Holy moly! Sundering for the fun of it! Oh, he disrupted it. Live! Oh my god, get out of the fire! Hoo! Okay, 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 okay! Not shabby. Not shabby. Go, top, and win! All in. Abathur can't do anything. Abathur can't end it by himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Just go top. Just go top. Let's do it. Holy moly. How's that? Yeah, we can totally go in. Go, 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 go. Dude. Somehow we won. I think we won. Yeah, for sure. Because these are stuck here. The minions will slow them down. 
I need to get over there quickly. Focus all attention on it. Yes! And then, as soon as they all come out, we're gonna we're gonna send them into the base. Oh, we don't have to. Game over. That is awesome. We won. That's what I'm talking about, guys. The potential, the plays. It can happen. That siege damage by Kelpha. So holy crud. All right, guys. Well, that is Thrall. Hopefully, you learned something. Hopefully, it wasn't the worst game you've ever experienced. Um, I think there's some potential here with this hero. I think the small quality of life fixes was just enough to help him out a lot, so I don't know. Try him at home. Let me know what you think. I think my next video will be on Chen. Let me know in the comments if that is what you want to see. Um, we could potentially do the monk as well. But that's going to be it for me. Button meshers, have a good weekend, and uh, stay off drugs.